Coming to you from RGIS Studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to note significant increases in the reported cases of dengue in St. Lucia. This is particularly concerning as both stereotypes 2 and 3 have been recorded to date and we have noted quite a few infections in children. Dengue is a viral illness spread by the bite of a species Aedes aegypti mosquito and to a lesser extent Aedes albopictus. About 75% of dengue infections are asymptomatic or produces a very mild febrile illness which may be confused with other illnesses. Persons with mild dengue may present with fever accompanied by rash, nausea or vomiting, pain behind the eye, muscle and joint pain. The Ministry of Health and Wellness urges persons who may be experiencing signs and symptoms to seek care at the nearest wellness center. Because the vector requires water to breed, the public is asked to assist in the control of dengue by eliminating breeding sites in and around their homes. The vector is capable of breeding in the smallest of receptacles, so frequent checks around the home are essential to combat the spread of dengue. Persons are also advised to avoid the indiscriminate dumping of garbage, which also serves as breeding ground for the mosquito. Humanitarian supplies are being provided to the government of St. Lucia to support national efforts during the COVID-19 pandemic. This donation from the World Health Organization, WHO, and JACMA is the result of a discussion between Prime Minister of Barbados, the Honorable Mia Motley, and the Director General of the World Health Organization. The WHO made a commitment to support the provision of essential medical devices and supplies to CARICOM. Delivery of the WHO and JACMA donation to the government of St. Lucia is being facilitated through the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, SIDEMA's Coordinated Integrated Regional Logistics Hub. The shipment to St. Lucia contains 3,990 N95 masks and 129,200 surgical masks. The Government of Canada has reallocated 401,359 Canadian dollars from the targeted support to Sidema project towards the establishment and operations of the hub. The Sidema coordinating unit remains committed to supporting participating states as they navigate the uncharted waters of COVID-19. The Mongouge Club 60 and Adult Daycare Centre is one of the recipients of proceeds raised from the Prime Minister's Independence Ball 2020. The organisation received some $25,000, which it said would go a very long way in helping the organisation, especially with keeping its doors open. First on the list is the renovation of the home of Ox the Congley and Spouse, residents of Bellevue Chauzel, and both attendees of Mongouge Adult Daycare Centre. The house is currently unfit for living. The funds aid in conducting repairs on a bus which was donated to the centre and is used to transport the elderly. The funds will also assist the centre in conducting its yearly activities. With the club looking to reopen its doors, coordinator of the Mongouge Adult Daycare Centre, Mary Pierre, said the club will be instituting all necessary protocols. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.